It's me, Vishnar, and as usual, I'm with Pastor Gio. I think he's sleeping. Let me wake him up. Gio! Gio! This is so embarrassing. Sorry, guys. Gio! Oh, hi, Miss Sharon. They're here. Oh, hi, kids. Sorry. It's just that I've been feeling sleepy and dizzy. Oh, no. Are you sick? No, 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 no. I'm not okay. sick. It's just that I haven't been able to eat all day, and so I feel sleepy and so lazy. Oh, that's why. Well, thankfully, I have some water here. Don't worry, I haven't drank that one. Also, look! <gasps> wow! Thank you, Miss Sharon. You're welcome. All right. You see, guys, that's what happens if you haven't eaten. You get cranky, you get sleepy, and that's exactly what happened in our lesson for today. The Israelites, they had no water, they had no food, and things were a little bit messy. We're gonna find out what happened, but before we watch our video, Pastor Gio will help us pray. All right, let's pray. Let's close our hands, close our eyes, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. We thank you for health. We thank you for the food and shelter. We thank you for our family and friends. We love you so much, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, 
Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hey guys, let me tell you what we've been up to. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Yaqub. I'm an Israelite, lived in Egypt all my life, born and raised there. But enough about me. I want to tell you what has been happening to all of us. We were just in Egypt, right? Being slaves, and man, it was tough. Then awful and crazy things start happening. There were frogs everywhere, water turned to blood. I know, right? And before I know it, we were out of Egypt. We even saw the Red Sea split. There's just been one mind-blowing thing after another. Now, here we are with Moses. He's our very leader, very godly man. He says he will be going to the Promised Land. Moses led us away from the Red Sea. When we could not find good water to drink, some of us started to complain to Moses. Then God told us, If you obey me and do what is right, I will not punish you like I punished the Egyptians. Then we came to a place called Elim, where there was plenty of water, and we kept there for a bit. As we journeyed, we ended up in the wilderness. So some of us started complaining. I was hungry myself. Man, we had food back in Egypt, and now we have nothing. To be honest, I think we're lost, but I'm not giving up. I think Moses knows what he's doing. He talks to God a lot, and I trust God. God told Moses that he heard us complaining, so he said to Moses, tell them that they will not go hungry. They will be full, and then they will know that I am their God. We woke up every morning, and there were fine flakes like frost on the ground. All of us started asking, what is it? Moses told us we could eat it and that it was bread that our Lord has given us. We call the bread manna, which simply means, what is it? God gave us instructions for eating the bread. If we took too much, it goes bad. Except on the sixth day, we could get twice as much because the seventh day is the Sabbath day, which is a day to rest. Not only did we get bread every morning, but at night. Foil would come into the camp, so we had meat for dinner. We did not have to go hunting. These quails would just show up every single night. Like how the manna would appear every morning. It was incredible. You can say we were living the life. Even after we complained, God shows us that He's our one and only God. He gave us food every day for free. But some of us are just hard-headed. I'll tell you a secret though. I think some of us just don't trust God. I don't know what proof they need. But now, Moses is upset. <sighs> we have just been walking and camping. I think we really are lost. We have been in the wilderness for a long time now. There is no water to drink. We asked Moses to give us water, but he does not have any water. So he prayed to God, Lord, what should I do? Then God showed him a rock and told him to hit the rock with his staff and water came out of it. We drank the water, and once again, we knew that our God is with us. Wow, we just keep witnessing amazing things from God. When God's people were hungry and thirsty, God provided them with food and water. In the same way, Jesus is the bread of life, John 6, 35. Food and water gives life for a little while, but Jesus gives eternal life. For a key passage this week, it only has two steps. God is good. Pastor Gio, do you want to do it with us? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start. God, God is, is good. good. Okay, one more time, guys. I think you didn't say it as loud as we did. Ready? God, God is, is good. good. Very good, guys. It's quiz time! Why did the Israelites complain? They were hungry! What kind of bird came into the camp? Quail! What did the people call the bread on the ground? Mana! Wonderful! We love that you are always listening to our lesson every week. I love our lesson every week. 
how amazing is our God. We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. And we'll see you again next Sunday. Don't forget, this afternoon, you guys are going to have your Zoom classes. So click on the link below so you can join us this afternoon. But for now, we're going to close in prayer. So put your hands together, all eyes closed, and we're going to pray. Father in heaven, thank you again for giving us another Sunday where we just get to learn more about you. Thank you for always being with us and protecting every single one of us. Father, we love you. In your son's name we pray and everyone say... Amen. Amen.